Receiving antennas can be designed to collect power from a propagating electromagnetic wave through either the electric field or the magnetic field of the wave. For example, a dipole or a monopole antenna, if this is the ground or ground plane, is designed to radiate or receive power from the electric field that is parallel to the antenna. On the other hand, loop antennas are designed to collect power from the magnetic fields. In this case, what is important is how much time-changing magnetic flux, dBdt, dB dt, cuts through the middle of this wire loop antenna. We can see this reflected in Faraday's law, which is shown here in the integral form. If s is the surface area of this loop, so this is s, if the time-changing flux that is parallel to the surface normal, which depending on directions could be pointing in to the screen, of that loop is non-zero, we'll get an electric field induced around the wire loop. So around the outside here would be the contour line L, through which, over which we would integrate the E fields. And that will result in a potential difference across the two terminals of the loop antenna. In other words, so far we've only considered how electric fields can couple to the crane. We haven't yet considered how magnetic fields might couple to the crane. So how should we approach this other coupling mechanism? What changes should we make to our FDTD model?